so and, many. But so DVD Envy, like they are so good, and I wonder because Envy's gone through this like existential crisis where he's been trying a lot of characters. Fifty different characters. Yeah, and I'm wondering how that's gonna change things because sometimes I love Envy. Pete's gonna be so mad to hear this shit. He's sure. like, no, I'm not. So sometimes you would see him play as Fox, and he would lose his stock really early, which happens with Fox all the time. It's gonna happen. You're gonna eventually get gimped. It, it, it's the story of your life. And you would see like the tilt happening. Mm. And then eventually and he'd be so player. tilted he might as well be playing like a, during a handstand. Like it's bad. And yeah, he's an emotional player. And I'm wondering if this is the, the exactly what they want, where he's now playing a different character, and that that chemistry is unlocked. Because they're good. They're good teammates together. They yep. beat a lot of good teams. But sometimes, like, I guess the Fox that you start getting up and the better teams start picking you up, you get a little frustrated, you get a little, a little ticked off because you also get tired, man. Yeah. Like, it's hard to stay focused when you've played an entire day of singles, pools, bracket, and then you're like, okay, come finish up doubles. And you're like, no. What? <laughs> I'm no, go to sleep. I want to go to sleep. Yeah, my hotel room is right here. So it'll uh, be interesting to see. But this is a good composition for the uh, red team in the sense that uh, double disjoints against this really short range of Hyperflame and Junebug can be pretty useful. Especially uh, uh, Envy's, like, Envy's Ike. That sword is so good against these characters. Especially because uh, DVD can cover the gaps. And then once you have an isolation situation, uh, Ike does so much damage so quickly. It can send you off stage really quickly. Great edge guard tools and like forward air and such. Um, and for Junebug and Hyperflame, I think a good key point is going to be their usage of their projectiles. Um, being able to use them enough where, you know, they're not, like, use them enough to like break in and like start hitting Envy without like camping so hard that DVD has enough time to start breaking it up and start dominating because his projectile in doubles is probably going to be the most effective one. The, the thing I like about Ike is you don't lose the kill potential that you lost with Fox. Yeah. Like you keep that. Yeah, exactly. You keep that, you keep the hard hitting Ike. Um, the only thing you really lack is you have you have great mobility as Ike, mm. but it is burst and situational mobility. Mm. Where Fox is just damn fast. Yeah. So what Ike is a little different because like you still have to side B, and it obviously helps if you're not like about to side B off the stage or something weird. So it'll be interesting to see how how Envy does. Also, I don't know if I've seen Envy play Ike in doubles yet. Oh, interesting. Because oh. I've seen because like he's picked up Ike, and I've seen him play it at um, uh, the last tournament here on the East Coast, I'm trying to remember. I think it was Blacklist 2 it was, it was Black against yeah. Gallo, and he pulled it out. It was a great, like, it, oh man. Oh, oh no, Tilt Arena. Chill, 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 chill. Don't do it. Don't We're do starting. It. We're good. We, we, we saw it. We saw it, man. Um, and I seen him pull out the act against Gallo, and it was super solid. It was such a great set. Mm. Uh, and he played really well with it. So I just want to see how it adapts with doubles. Uh, there's, it just doesn't, It's not going to have as much play experience Ooh. as he does with Fox with Tuna. Okay. Uh, Hyperflame doing a great job of, uh, so he applies this pressure, I'm watching him now because I've never actually watched him in doubles, I just know about his results. He applies this pressure really well, where he just goes in, and then like, you know, he, he like wait, waits a long time before he'll actually go in. But then once he does, he just parks you in shield and he finds the, uh, the, you know, the punish or the out of shield situation. He's actually, uh, like a weird support, where like, he's a very short range support, so he weaves in every now and then when Junebug creates gaps. And uh, that has been pretty much how uh, they built this lead. Yeah, I mean, and, and in, in doubles, it's so important as as it is in singles to have stage control. Mm. And you've seen this. This game has already gone back and forth so many times based on who has held what stage uh, corner. Mm -hmm. Like, blue team had a really good sequence where they held, took a couple of uh, shots at Ike. Now it's kind of flipping a little bit. DVD they'll roll. Oh, what? Mm -hmm. What precision! Threatening Whoa, the needle! He could have killed his teammate! Ready. And yo! DVD still alive? Kinda? Sorta? Not anymore? I'll talk to you later. My apologies. Good night, sweet friends. Alright, four Good stocks. Good night, sweet friends. One of my favorite things of all time. <laughs> four stocks to six. Not exactly... Almost border, starting to look like a blowout for the blue team, honestly. Just with the way they've been playing. It's, it's honestly all about how uh, Junebugs handles this current stock. Yeah. If he can still... There it is. Okay. There you go. And all of a sudden, it's just a different... Because Lucas is taking damage. Yep. He's not exactly the tankiest character in, in the game. Um, and you would have to think that DVD, he is incredible at not getting hit. Yeah. It is... Yep. Like, I've seen doubles matches where DVD is like a minute and a half in at 0%. And I'm like, just in awe of it. So he's going to tank stocks for you on a character that doesn't normally do it. Like, DVD just got hit for the first time in a while, and it was his teammate. <laughs> like, so... 
that's something that I, I, I think the blue team has to account for. Like, don't think these stocks are coming easily or that they're going to always come at low percentages because DVD just has a good time. Oh, wow. Dak is into his teammate. Takes out Junebug. Unfortunate. Uh, but, I mean, I think the risk reward was there. I see high percent red, red team members. Okay. Oh, tethered. Good, good edge guard, Hyperflame. Good stuff. Scared him into that. Forced error, right? Forced error. Oh, great interrupt. This is where Envy's got to just be as patient as possible, pick his spots to where he's going to get involved. Because at 135% and your teammate's got that extra stock, mm. but you don't want to take it too early. Because uh, the blue team's in that exact situation where Junebug can take Hyper's uh, stock, but you're both like characters, you don't want that. Mm. Okay. And you're going to go for the forward air. You can't DI that, actually. I think you'd rather DI that inside, so this way Hyper Flame, when Ike double jumps, Hyper Flame can intercept. That was uh. that was so unfortunate, though, because the, uh, the red team finally got the stock they wanted, but it was June's stock, and he was able to take the stock from Hyper. Mm. And Junebug obviously being Junebug, like, this is still doable. Like, I think yeah. they would have preferred it being a 2v1 against the Lucas with percentage on him. Rather yeah. than Junebug with a fresh stock 2e1. So we just got to see how he's going to handle this. He's getting some damage in on both the characters. DVD's at 95%. Okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, he, if he can find just anything to get him off, uh, DVD off one of these characters off stage, he can just immediately run at the other. And Okay. Wow. Well, you get, you get one of those. Yeah, right? <laughs> but uh, he can immediately just run at the other. And with Diddy's frame data, he can probably at least you know push them off stage again and then repeat. That's a really important thing. If you're 1v2ing, that you need to do. You need to separate the enemy team. Right? And, it, and just like try to uh, literally approach and win like three 1v1s, you know? Just try to split them up and try to just like uh, find the damage and kill them as, as quickly as you, can, as you possibly can. This is the first game, dude. It did. Let's go. Let's go, New Jersey. That's interesting. I think on paper, everyone would have been like Hyper Flame June, right? Only because, only because I don't think people give the the love to Envy. He doesn't travel oh, as far out. Oh, maybe, maybe. I mean, these Envy's Hyper, good. Hyper and Junebug are definitely the more known names. But I think that um, I don't know. I think that within our doubles community, I think we know how good these two are. Uh, and also, Junebug has never had crazy. Ne has never been known for his doubles play. So, also another thing is like with Junebug and, and Hyperflame. They've been kind of doing so well at these last few events, like Shuffle, Hyperflame 1, and then June um, winning Valk and winning, what was it? Um, a little bit before that, I'm trying to think. There's so many events uh, going on now. Phoenix? Yes, okay. against their boy. There was another one too. They, they just kind of cleaned up for a couple months where they were just both the, the players to watch. Yeah. And then at Supernova, Hyperflame did really well. Um, both your city also eliminated LC. Yeah, yeah, so like, you know, you, you see these names everywhere all the time, so. Both had good performances at Devo. Oh, God. I see what Hyper's trying to do. I, I like that. When, when people with tether recoveries kind of reset with their tether to no, hold yeah, up yeah, the yeah. extra invincibility. Yep, yep. Okay, push them to the platform. And, uh, blue team with center stage control. This is uh, a really dominating uh, position for them. Because even though DVD's at such high percent, so he wants to make the stock last as long as possible. But if you can just target MD and try to put a bunch of percentage on him, effectively, the uh, low percent of DVD is going to like keep him away. You know what I mean? So what you want to do, if I were the blue team, is I would double team Ike right now. I would just run away from DVD and I would double team Ike. And I would just try to make the most of him at a high percent and him trying to hold it. Uh, you know, that kind of slight For, force the hand almost. Exactly. Where you want, yeah. you want DVD to have to do something and put himself in jeopardy at that high percent. What was crazy is DVD was doing that thing like your four year old brother would do, okay. where it's just up being over and over and over and over from the ledge. And it just worked because it was the smartest thing to do at that time. And right now, everyone's just screaming out random things about DVD. I would think there's a little bit more of a love for New York, New Jersey, and like Tri State in this area. Uh, than MDBA. I don't know why, it just seems like they travel in louder packs. I don't know if they're in bigger packs because there's a ton of people from everywhere now. Yeah. Um, oh, what a great down smash. Hit him with both oh, hits. 48% takes the stock. June, uh, I, uh, he got caught in the blunder, dude. Yeah, he caught in the blunder. Envy with a great punish there. 48%. Oh, that was, that was it! That almost took him out at 49. He's trying to better himself. <laughs> trying to make records. 
That's something we haven't seen. A nice Ike forward smash to close oh, up. Oh, man. That would have been the moment. <laughs> Catch him out of the end leg of his forward, forward smash. smash. <laughs> his charge of forward smash in front of his forward smash. Oh, my gosh. That was the ball. Chicken, man. Chicken. Oh, my God. Banana to grab into border. Okay, see? Hyper finally intercepts the... Yo, uh, reverse. Oh, it. man. That was a great <sighs> opportunity from Envy. He got knocked into where uh, the same trajectory that Hyperflame was at. And yep. they just kind of traded. Oh. Yo, this sound pack is so amazing. Yeah, shout out to this sound pack. Let's Every go. time I'm, I work with Flash tournaments, I'm just like, yo, why is this sound pack so good? <laughs> it's for like one tournament in like a year, too. It has just changed. It's just awesome. Yeah. We got pressure on the shield. Hyper rolls out. He'll be all right. Again? Juma getting hit by both. I think, you know what, Juma's getting called crouch cancel. Yeah, I, I think That's the only thing I can think of. I think it's also the fact that he's at such a low percent that if you're near the middle of Ike, the two hits kind of... Oh. oh my god! Envy. Dude, can he do it? Envy had a, uh, a moment. Yeah. But you know what? Low percentage of him and his teammate. Yeah. Just don't get gimped. Yeah, he went for the, the dash attack to the side B setup. Uh, didn't really convert from there. But that's what that side uh, dash attack off stage was. I think Ike's neutral air is visually so pleasing. I in, love it too. In terms of like how the hitbox works, just the fact that you can jump up and you just got that that little waft around. Oh goodness, there's the force we're talking about. Yeah, grab Jumbug the ledge. Face palms. Grab the ledge and charge. Junebug looks into his hands and asks why. Why? Why was I put on this earth to get forward smashed? All right, so no character switch. Oh, by the way, guys. Oh, hey, this is character second. No mind. Um, we have, we also have a Salt Mines recap coming up after doubles. Oh baby! Uh, it's gonna be me, Junebug, Emo Killer, and Gallo. I hope uh, we're gonna do Salt Mines straight from here. Uh, again, I know probably more people watching earlier. Like, I haven't abandoned the community. I've been home. I got a very sick grandmother, unfortunately. Uh, Bye, and, and I just, you know, been taking care of her. And and this was an opportunity for me to get out of the house for a little bit. And I took it because I missed my homies, and I wanted everyone to know that like. I, me and Jobo are actually working on revamping Salt Mines and making it very production heavily, awesome. uh, heavy. So it's going to be, we're trying to revamp it and make it better. So when we do come back and it's more stable, everyone's going to really enjoy it. So sounds really exciting for the future. I, I'm, I'm very excited. And Ganondorf. Yep. I, I'm switched. very excited about this. Gamebox switches to Ganondorf. Makes sense. Diddy was struggling. Uh, don't know how I feel about the stage choice, though. Uh, I think this is an okay. Oh my gosh, Hyper deleted him. Do you remember that time that. Envy died really early in the set. Uh, Every single game. Uh, <laughs> I, I think. I mean, I don't have to remember. I, have to, I just have to watch. Oh, good lord. Envy, you know what I like about Envy, though, is he wasn't... Oh, please don't. Please don't okay. make me just chew my words like this. Oh, oh my god, lord. dude. You know what I like about Envy is when he's alive. Um, No. He's dead, too? Oh, my goodness. What is All happening? right. Okay. The so, turnaround. <laughs> So they got two great kills on the red team, and then blue team proceeded to die in pretty silly ways. I think Hyper Flame Snake just wasn't close enough to the stage, and then Junebug just kind of like air dodged off stage into like another hit or something. Yeah, look. that was nuts. Um, okay, so a lot of stocks were traded. Yeah, it went from a three stock difference to one immediate. Yeah. Um, so what I like about Envy is in game one, he was having a very difficult time spacing out his forward tilts, mm. and. He almost didn't really see them, and now he's been using them a lot more to try to clear the stage and also avoid messing up uh, anything that DVD is doing since it's right in front of you. It's a very linear kind of move. Uh, he's not messing around with what DVD is doing. Like, DVD is just chasing after people. He doesn't care. He's going crazy right now. So, I like that he's implemented that, but this has been a really weird third game. Ganondorf changed everything. Like, quick Gan kills. Like, Ganondorf just made this a shit show. Yeah, this is, well, this is, from the last set we watched, this is like what Green Team wanted to do last set, where they wanted to mix things up, yeah. but they didn't pick the right character. This is not Diddy Kong. Like, it's working out. Nothing, yeah. nothing Ganondorf does is Diddy Kong-esque. Yeah. In fact, I'm sorry. Yo! Oh. He was dead to rights. The bomb saves him, and then Junebug dies. What? A reversal. Let's what? Go. Get oh out of gosh. here. All right, I'm going to close out that stock, and five stock... Cooking up for the blue team, man. Convincing. Jeez, dude. Yo. Five stocks. Get him out of here. Good lord. MDVA. Let's go. All right. So, Ben Big. Yeah, I like Ben and Big. Um, I also want to Ben flat. Wide.
I think Wide is not good for this team. I'm surprised with the Smash Bill because I feel like Wide um, Wide pins in Junebug because he gets kind of uh, stuck because Ganon's uh, run speed is not good at all or existent. And uh, I want to see uh, Blue Team, a uh, Red Team, go for. I like Delfinos. I like Dreamland. Delfinos. Yeah, Delfinos and Dreamland. I think those are going to be two bands for Red Team, though. Know, for uh, MVVA. Hmm. Battlefield's a good choice for the uh, Blue Team, I feel like. You guys, if you have a chance, right, can you please uh, retweet? And get this link out, and get a million people, and and uh, a million. Kunai will come to your home mm. and hug you personally. Wow! And tell you stories of, of days gone by, of, uh, of the history of Kunai. The history of Kunai. It is a uh, it is a fractured tale, lost in the wind. It's a legend. A fractured tale. Yeah. It's such a great way to put it. <laughs> uh, my father Gallo. Left me. The age of He's five. not your dad. You don't even look alike. I know. He's obviously my father. This is ridiculous. Damn it. I have two fathers. <laughs> anyway. Oh god. <laughs> DBD's the other one. Anyway. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, so you, you like Delfinos, right? I so like this Delfinos is, this for the, the red team, yes. This yeah. is the pick you wanted. Um, so I want to see DVD uh, play on these platforms a lot. And uh, otherwise, you know, create openings for uh, Ike, and then I want to see Envy just uh, go to Pound Down. <laughs> That's the game plan. I oh my goodness, that was so good. The Ganondorf is what's frightening right now because I don't yep. know if they've been able to adjust. And when Ike is touching the magnifier that hard at 118, because it's Ganondorf, yeah. that's oh. that's scary. Unfortunate from DVD. <laughs> Yo, the drag down to hell Dude. from Hyper. They're playing so well right now. They're winning every isolation situation. That was nuts, man. That's exact. I love, like, that Lucas has so many tools, and that's something that's it's it's obnoxious because it looks so flashy and disrespectful. But just falling backwards with that magnet and dragging your opponent down because it's so difficult to just like uh, di out of it in time to actually not die. Mm. Oh my goodness. I respect the shit out of that. Okay. I also respect Ganondorf getting stank, uh, stank, yeah, his stank, bro. Uh, stock tanking, 145. Just doing his thing, man. Okay. DVD should be dead. Okay, good. This shouldn't be happening. Dude, honestly, this reversal is so intense right now that I, like, it's a bunch of things, right? It can't just, it's not, I don't think it's anymore, it's just the Ganondorf. I also think Hyperflame has stepped this game up. Yep. Oh my god, dude! dude what is that? This is, this is ridiculous. Dude, Lucas is busted! Oh my goodness, let's go! Dude, the the uh the Fort Spacey. The Fort Spacey, for sure. Dude, a hyper Lucas flame. Right hyper flame's short range I, I mean uh, Lucas's short range and usual stuff that would otherwise be like destroyed by these disjoints are not being addressed and hyper flame is when he gets in, oh my god, he's making his hits count, dude. This kid is clean. I, I'm like in awe, like I don't even know really what to comment on because how do you win the first two games pretty decidedly, like it didn't look any alarming situation. You get the character switch, alright, you get bodied on your first counter pick, like it, you know, you it's whatever, it happens. Mm -hmm. But then you pick like an even better stage for your team and it's not really looking like, like this could still be a four stock blue team's favor, meaning your counter pick improved you by one. Yeah. That's that's hard to overcome. Definitely bad news bears. Uh, but Envy getting his offense started. Uh, okay. He had, uh, popped up, uh, so he had popped up Hyper Flame, but DVD had went towards Hyper Flame. When he's in, like, like, the top right side of the stage, he wasn't catching him. So I don't know how I feel about that as much. Oh my Wizards god. Wizard's kick. Uh, so Dark has talked to me about that, and he goes, yeah, I'm pretty sure Junebug is the only person who's ever hit me with a Ganon down. <laughs> yeah, that was after Blacklisted. Dark was like, I, I realized. <gasps> oh, oh, oh my god. Don't god. violate him like that. That's four stocks. <laughs> four stock, dude, uh, what? After Blacklist and Dark was like, I realized how good June was because he was like the only person to ever hit me with that. <laughs> I'm like, Jesus. Dude. Yeah. It's such a telegraph it's, move. Oh, we have slight coaching. Slight coaching. Slight coaching. Slight coaching. Nick Boyko. Or unless he's doing shout outs. You know, he's like, hey girl, how you doing? I miss you. <laughs> how you been? I miss you, baby. It's possible. He's saying that to Ed B and B and D. Imagine he's, he's, imagine he's just coaches, but he stares directly into the web camera and just <laughs> winks as he's telling them what they need to do. Because mm. it's like that subtleness. Subtleness. I like, yo, you know what? Delta usually doesn't get too much love. 
Sure. But I like that there's like 30-ish people like watching, and people are sitting on the floor or looking on the projector. Dark's posing. He's like, maybe it's Maybelline. All right, like, Dark. <laughs> Dark has one way to sit down, and it's like he actually bottle. sleeps like that too. I'm sure he does. Like, it's actually really irritating because uh, I, <laughs> I if, just hate if it. If the most interesting man in the world came from the West Coast, it would look like Dark. Probably. Even though Dark doesn't isn't from, from there. From the West Coast, yeah. Yeah, but like Dark's got like the dirty blonde hair. He's just like. What's up, man? Ta Permatan? How is he Permatan? Yeah, right? Isn't this it make annoying? Any sense. He, he works on uh, solar panels, so he's always outside. Oh, no. He's in the sun. He's working. There, he loves it, though. He loves it. There's Nark. He's always trying to sell me solar panels. So oh, we gotta watch your fucking solar panels, Dark. Don't throw me m and Oh, God, he's throwing me an m, &M. Okay. Wait. Oh, in your it's, mouth. The, the webcam isn't on. All right, all right. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, goes in the air. That Dark that, went that literally the with the worst throw I have ever whatever, seen. Whatever, Game whatever. five, let's go. All right, PS2. He threw that right into my chest. Boyko's was taking a cute picture. Oh man, I'm jealous. Anyway, here we go. Dude, you're right. Hyper stepped it up, dude. Like not that he was playing bad in the first few games. It's just he's been able to keep DVD at bay and combo DVD, which is like. We talked about it. It's so difficult to do. You don't really find DVD in a bad situation. And right now, he's just getting his uh, his uh, shit kicked in. I think is what shit the, kicked kids, in is, uh, the kids say. That is uh, definitely a uh, good politically correct phrase for the situation. Uh, Trump you, gotta, you don't know. <laughs> you got to say it how you see him, my man. All right, Ganon finally dies. That's so a, yeah, that's a big difference, though. Ganondorf's actually dead uh, within mm -hmm. the first you know minute of the game, where last time he was just in the stock tank. Yeah, he was living forever. <laughs> AGT this banana. Oh my gosh, maybe he just gave Ganon a projectile? Uh oh. This is so crazy. Okay. I, I'm like freaked out because he's not Ike anymore, but it's working right now, and it's weird because like yeah. the, the Diddy wasn't his strongest secondary at a time. Like, mm. So it's it's almost like you have to weigh as a thing. Oh, wow. I don't feel like, don't worry. Okay. okay. I think as a player, you have to weigh like what's a counter pick and what's a comfort pick. Yeah. Because they went straight counter picks, and I don't know if they either one of them really, like, who likes Delfino? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you, know, that, you don't really think of that as, like, my, that's my first favorite stage or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I think PS2 just kind of balanced out their comfort feel. This is definitely, you know, it's tighter. A home for stage sure. for a lot of people, yeah. And it's much tighter. Mm -hmm. Off the top? Oh, not going to happen for Canada. What a heavy man. What a heavy man. What a heavy man. You know, you got to eat when you're the king of evil. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, Popgun going to keep uh, DVD safe. That's not gonna kill, actually. No, much too low of a percent, and and it it kind of worried me because like Emby wasn't around to help his teammate out out of the throw animation. U up throw on Lucas it takes forever. Yeah, it takes a uh, while to make that pizza. But yo, little oh, little root, little Mrs. noodle, steal your girl, little noodle, Mr. Steal your ledge. Oh, yo, that was that was. What's so crazy about that is like, how do you how do you have the four two to go? I'm not gonna get hit between these four people, and I'm gonna sneak this ledge. In. That's where it gets crazy, like, to go for yeah, something yeah. like that. Because if you mess up, you die. He did, yeah. Oh my gosh, Up B killed him? He hard read that DVD was not going to stay on the platform. Dude, Junebrook's banana play. So he is a Diddy main. Yeah. But it's been put in be, so much work. <laughs> you gotta be careful if you're envy right now. You don't want to just give it to him. You He's been make glide sure tossing spot. everywhere with his banana. And <laughs> it's making Ganon actually have an out of shield option to deal with DVD and uh, Envy's options. It's 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 fun to watch. Yeah, I love it. I think if you're envy, you gotta save that banana for for very close corners of the of the uh, stage. <gasps> oh, delete him. Get yeah, he's done. Kid. <laughs> you're done, son. He's gonna oh, he's gonna two. Oh my gosh! Oh, right. Quite coming out in game five for envy. TP <laughs> <laughs> freaking out in the background. De definitely sounded a little bit like a monkey. <laughs> Yo, that was crazy. Oh my god, that's 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 game changing, dude. Envy was trading in the Pidgeys, that's what that was. Oh man, he candy. evolved. Candy. <laughs> Shout out to Pokemon Go. Alright, but it's a stock. Uh, but does it get punished on the snake? Questionable. Oh, great questionable banana, DI, bro. And the banana's gonna confirm the kill on there. Oh my god, so much damage. Alright, a quick 55 coming, 65 coming up for red team. That's huge. Yeah, Envy, uh, Envy, or DVD trying to Is get it back as soon as possible. Oh! He just couldn't. Okay. All right, you gotta watch Envy. Oh my gosh, is he dead? Oh man, if you're DVD right now, you just want to trade. Yeah, you're trying to defend Envy and just trying to keep him alive, as alive as possible. No, if it, it, you know, this is like a really weird situation. If you're a DVD, you almost want to trade. Where a stock, if you yeah, because yeah, if you think Envy's gonna get killed, you yeah, want to make sure you kill Juba. Hit the other person. Yeah. Each of one v one. Oh, oh, oh Juba's dead first. Anyway, Juba's dead first. That's important. 
Hyper Flame, uh, Hyper character was very low range. If they sit back and throw projectiles, I don't think there's much he can do. But the banana's gonna give him an eye option in! Our dash attack overextends, does it by flash, down air misses. Everyone's screaming right oh now. Oh my gosh. Alright, right, so Hyper Flame just trying to park himself on the other side of the stage and avoiding all these projectiles. Great setup with a dash attack. Alright, he has one more chance. He's gonna avoid something here. Oh, oh smash! Does uh, it kill? No. Weak hit? No. Nope. Sounded like a weak hit. That was oh, okay. so well played. So well played. And I like how... Dude. I like that Envy did the super... Envy stepped the fuck up. I... Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Right? That, that, that's 100%. Envy was definitely the reason they won that. Because those those back-to-back -back dunks... Oh. Were